three market gainers on Nasdaq on the 24th of uh, September 2020. So one of them is uh, what we're looking at. It's uh, Sunworks. We uh, covered a live stream earlier on uh, today. Uh, that was in the pre-market, largely. But uh, so far, um, it has uh, continued. Uh, it's up at uh, 232%. At some point, it was more than that. It reached uh, a high of uh, $8.50. Uh, yesterday, it has uh, it performed. Uh, it uh, what was that yesterday? It uh, also had a similar performance. Was that yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. Um, let's see, that's a uh, 23rd. Okay, yeah, 23rd. It closed at 116 or thereabout from. From seventeen from seventy eight uh, cents, it closed up to one hundred sixteen, which is about fifty percent increase. And then today again, that uh, now shot up to uh, it's currently at uh, three eight four, and uh, went beyond that uh, as I indicated. So this is just uh, one of them and then we have the disclosures here this is for Sunworks this is a Sunworks this is their last um, form 10q disclosure filed on um, sometime in um, when was it reported I think sometime in August so we just quickly dive down to the Financial information, financial statements. Uh, it have a total total assets of two twenty five point five million US dollars, and uh, so we're just uh, going to go down to the cash uh, flow statements. They have a gross profit of one point six million dollars for this uh, quarter so this is a quarterly report so for the quarter that's what I said over there for the quarterly report yes quarterly report for the period ended June 30th 2020 so you can see they have a gross profit of 1.6 million okay what earlier on uh, uh, the same quarter uh, last year they had a profit of 3.6 million so um, probably well we can't rule out COVID uh, as a as a factor in this so we have seen this it has 16.6 million shares obviously and uh, this is the cash Flows, yes, the amount of cash flows. So, uh, for that quarter, they have a net loss of uh, eight point two million US dollars. So, net cash used in operating activities. So, they are in the red in that regard by up four million US dollars. And uh, so we want to see what uh, uh, net cash they have proceeds from. Okay, so during that quarter they raised about seven me. Okay, net cash provided by financing eight point seven million dollars. So um, okay, net change in cash and equivalents and restricted cash. Okay, four point six million cash cash equivalents and restricted cash end of period is 8.1 million dollars so 
cash equivalents and uh, all right so they have some liquidity as against uh, that uh, um, negative over there so we, we're just looking at uh, what's uh, what the, what are the fundamentals you know surrounding um, uh, this equity we had to begin with some walks because uh, and it has uh, again the most uh, today so we're just going to cover the PEC uh, uh, company holdings Inc So um, this is a financial statements. Okay, let's uh, see if we can find. Um, okay, total current assets is eight point eight million. This is eight. Uh, let's see. Let's be sure of what we're looking at. So everything is uh, zero dollars in millions. So we don't need to speculate. They read the whole figure. So consider uh, this is balance sheet. Consider this balance sheet. Just give me one minute. Let me uh, find out something here. Okay. Scrolling down now, we're going to try and see if we can find uh, the uh, cash flow statement. Okay, end revenue. Okay, gross profit is. Uh, I want to believe this is okay. Four thousand two hundred eighty-two. Operating income is uh, also in the negative, so we just uh, try to see if they have the cash flow. That's it here. This that's the cash flow statement. So net loss is a uh, 1.26 million dollars. Adjustments to reconcile net loss. Okay, now the okay, cash used in operating activities is. Uh, also in negative 2.9 million net cast net cast used in finance in investment activities is uh, 57,230 cash flows from financing activities uh, let's see what total is uh, net cash provided by financing is 3 million dollars so cash end of period is ninety three thousand one hundred and eighty seven. Not so wonderful. Um, probably, but uh, so far, um, some works. Uh, the the cash available to some works tends to be the best. So let's. Uh, we are now on a uh, polar power. Um, this is a uh, pull. You can see the Polar Power uh, Inc. Current assets. Uh, okay, everything's in thousands. So. Let's quickly go down to the 
cash flow uh, this is a balance sheet the okay, statement of operations yeah this is a ca the uh, cash flow statement so the, you know the essence of the cash flow statement is um, you know it's uh, is a window to the liquidity of uh, of the company how uh, likely it is uh, it can stay afloat whether it has um, enough cash to uh, sustain it so net cash provided or used in operating activities is uh, in the red they have a debt to 3.6 million acquisition of um, Okay, proceeds from PP payment uh, payment loan payment protection loan. That's the one that the U.S. government is providing, I think. So it's one point seven million dollars. The payment of notes is uh, one hundred sixty-four thousand. So the net cash provided used in more well, in financing is one point five million. Decrease in okay. So they have a negative there. Cash flow and cash equivalents beginning of the period is 2.8 million. Cash and cash equivalents end of period is 727,000. And uh, the period before that time was 5.4 million. So it's getting tougher for polar, polar power. So you will find in the, in the description link, uh, the, in the description, the description box, below the link uh, to these uh, SEC disclosures they were all filed in uh, August uh, of this month of this year so uh, okay we are watching right now Pula sorry Sun walks let's refresh it's currently trading at uh, 3.71 so let's uh, try and have a look at um, that of um, the other ones, Polar Power and uh, the PEC company. So this is uh, this is what it has done so far. This is uh, Sunwalk. So you can see we're at the high of eight dollars fifty today. You see, in the pre-market, it uh, there was a gap here. That is why you can see that's what we, that's what's going on here. There was a gap when it skyrocketed, skyrocketed up to four hundred percent from the previous close. So that is what's going on, and that was when we had that live coverage. It was buzzing everywhere on all uh, scanners and uh, radars. That's why we brought that to you. So we're gonna try and find out uh, what's going on with the uh, PEC uh, holdings com. So if you if you if, you're, if you have joined us, please uh, like and share and uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Okay, so this is what's going on with uh, PEC, the PEC holding company. It also had a gap as well. You can see there's a slight gap here. It was also um, up in the pre-market. And um, the previous close was $3.41. And right now it is, uh, for today, it has it's reached uh, $14.30. But it's down to about $6 and, and some fraction. So yes, it uh, it's up seventy-seven point seven one percent. You can see fifty-two week range is uh, fourteen thirty. I think it uh, though it was also achieved today as well. It opened at uh, four dollars fifty, and uh, previous previously closed at three dollars forty-one. So the average volume is uh, 377,222. So shares uh, outstanding is 5.29 million. So
so uh, you know we, we don't have the short interest let's get to 0 0.1 where we're going to uh, validate some of those things some of those uh, short ratios so and we'll uh, just we're going to we're going now to find out what uh, polar power is saying So it is polar power is up one hundred and three point six five percent. So and it had uh, it see see that gap as well. See that gap? It closed uh, the on Wednesday it closed at one dollar ninety two and uh that gap uh, uh the reason why it's blank there is because um the markets in the UK in the US did not uh trade uh, this part of the chart so it doesn't have that record so because it was trading elsewhere you know that is why um, it has uh, that gap the, uh, the that the, that um, the data is not available to the um, um, to this platform here in the US that's why sometimes you, not you notice uh, gaps in the charts so um, so right, this is what's going on now. It uh, reached a high of 6.56. You can see this is for today, 6.56, and also that was that is also its 52-week, uh, the top of its 52-week range, and uh, yeah, see she has outstanding 11.38 million. Short interest is one percent, so um, we'll we'll uh, use short squeeze and find out uh, what's going on with some of that of those uh, uh, percentages. So we'll try some walks. It's a uh, 2.95 percent. Um, that figure may change at the end of the trading of tr of trading today. So or it may have it may not have, it may not change. Okay, but um, earlier on uh, in the pre market, this figure the the trade uh, versus average was about 200 uh, 2000 and uh, uh, 2000. 200% now it is a uh, 5058.83% so you can see today's volume is at uh, 234 million 223,911 uh, today's average is uh, 4.6 million trading average is uh, trading average, average is now 4.6 million but today's uh, volume is 234 million so you can see um, it's uh, market cap has skyrocketed giving them an opportunity to um, raise funds just like uh, Tesla did some uh, weeks ago and uh, see previously this uh, 52 week performance was a negative I believe so um, this is what's going on now so you can see that uh, it has a share float of 16 million five hundred and forty thousand and you can see that uh, and, and we have 80 percent of that is what is probably trading since um, these insiders and institutions who hold about 20 percent may not really be actively 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 trading so we, we presume that uh, 20 percent of the of uh, the 16 million which is about uh, 12 million it's is what has contributed to uh, this uh, volume of 200 for 234,000 which is about uh, we're looking about 20 times the volume 20 times the available volume so um the 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 the, the, uh, the shares have uh, 
you know, have been turned over several times in uh, one trading day. So this is a highly volatile stock. So we, we'll, you um, have to be careful. So let's see what's uh, going on with PEC. So, well, we don't have any short interest here. Okay, 0 0.35 decrease. It has decreased by 33%. Uh, so people have they've, they've been covering their their shots, and um, you can see here, 23 today versus average volume is you can see 23,828. Today's volume is uh, 20 million 588,000. So it has a share float of 1.7 million. You can see why that has happened. You know. Um, it has a f very small float and there's a lot of interest. There's a lot of uh, interest in the shares, hence uh, we've had uh, uh, 20 million shares have exchanged hands today. So people are buying and um, others are coming. They, they, they desire, they need to jump in on this um, equity pack is uh, very high. You can see very interesting figures here, very, very interesting. So the next one is uh, Polar Power. Short interest has decreased by 74% and it's only 2.39%. Um, um, you can see trading volume today's bus today's vol uh, today's volume versus average is uh, 1860.39%. Today has traded uh, 66.7 million shares. The average is uh, three point uh, five million. The float is uh, four point seven six zero. Okay, so this is more than ten percent, uh, more, more than ten times the number. Has uh, have uh, so that means that the shares available. Okay, you can see uh, the shares available have traded uh, over ten times their number, but also in something in the a key factor here is that 61% um, of the insiders hold it. So we are looking at um, roughly 65% of no 75% of the equity is uh, probably not active, and um, so 75% of uh, 4.7 million. So we are looking at. Um, um, ten percent will be four hundred and seventy thousand. So, um, so we're talking about um, one point uh, six million. Okay, so one point six million, which is which we believe is active, active or actively or freely available out of the float, is what has resulted in this, in this figure, in this sixty six point uh, seven million. So let's again, let's go back again and uh, see that of PEC. The float is uh, okay. We don't have the figures on the, on, on that the inside and the institutions. Okay, so we have this um, interesting analysis we have done. So the standard, uh, the three standard deviation trading range for Sunworks is between one dollar point seven eight and uh, two point five five two point five six. To 2.56 US dollars, so it is uh, trading beyond the uh, uh, this uh, three standard deviation. 
it, uh, it indicates it's enjoying a positive fat risk an indication one has to be careful so which uh, so um, uh, tail risks tail risks are usually uh, risks that are uh, beyond the three standard deviation and um, you know they are uh, also regarded at, at uh, as fat risks so meaning that um, they will hit you big they are big they, that means they will also hit you big you know negatively or positively so in this case where sun walks and some with sun walks sun walks is enjoying the positives it's on the positive side of things yes it's trading beyond it let's see what's going on with sun walks um, yeah if you if you're joining if you have just joined us like share and uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed so um so yes currently it is trading at 392 so it is way beyond it's way beyond the 202.5648 dollars that means it's now trading it's we're talking about um uh we're talking about uh, it's now in the tail tail risk region uh meaning that um there could be a lot of correction as well he has uh he has, he has run up a, a huge gain he has run up a new huge gain so you have to be really careful it's uh you know you um um you have to be on your on the alert and uh you know wherever we, it's uh, at, uh, at, 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 at some point today there was even at uh dangerously high high uh valuations so you can imagine that people must have uh, put their money at uh, eight dollars fifty, and indeed, uh, you know, the, from based on uh, what we saw in the uh, uh, live charts, you know, uh, live uh, stream earlier on today, some people were were trading at um, um, even eight uh, some some figures higher than that or thereabout. So you have to be really careful. You know, it has it has indeed uh, since corrected. So it has come down from that uh, from the vaulting vaulted uh, heights of uh, eight dollars fifty, but even as even at that now, you know it's uh, um, there are there are risks involved, you know. So um, it has run up in a huge gain. That means um, the downside is uh, is uh, may also be the case, you know. So you have to be really careful and. Um, and uh, just be careful of watch. So let's see if we can uh, find out what people are saying on um, stock tweets. Yeah, stock tweets on uh, some works. Some walks trending, uh, watching. Got back in. Looks, looks good for sure. 4.5 uh, resistance break. Could uh, take it to party again. Some walks is slowing. Uh, SI, SI. SIRC is warming up. Keep a close eye on it. Top OTC sympathy potential for solar, in my opinion. Self fulfilling prophecy newbies will short the stock to make their losses from chasing SPI, Sunworks, and uh, Polar Power. Anticipated thanks for facilitating the short squeeze. Look at yesterday's chart, you see. Look at yesterday's chart. We'll do the same thing tomorrow. What's going to be the closing price? Uh, Four dollars. So let's update. Love this one dollar swing. Starting to take off power. Take off for power. Mm -hmm. Starting to take off for power. Uh, sideways movement from now, if you're lucky. I think. Uh, 
you play 50 points over the next day um, you know what you own this is the difference between SPI and some box and uh, as Polar Power compared to JE JE makes 500 uh, million a quarter in revenue okay, let's see what that JE is about just energy so just energy group what has happened to they we also had a gap as well so uh, it's uh, definitely a penny stock 0 0.35 it's reached uh, the high of uh, 0 0.81 52 week range so we are not uh, close to its 52 week range market cap of 42.6 million short interest 3.6 percent mm, okay let's see what's going on with this je yeah somebody pointed out over there just energy canada Dennis is its Canadian company. Um, okay. Share float is uh, 85 5 million point eight seven. Trading volume today is at uh, 342. So we are talking about um, okay. Quite active as well today. So insiders and institutions hold 66% of it. So that's still a healthy sum that will uh, be available for all of this activity here. So uh, short percent of float is 6.4%, quite high. Not as high as, you know, um, as high as 12%. Uh, so, okay so let's update again and see what's going on here some work some work uh, some work on it up getting ready for power hour pump it and dump it <laughs> squeeze tick tack okay so um, we're gonna include the link to this uh, uh, short uh, tweet so if you have if you're not aware of it come and join and uh, join the conversation Okay, if you're new to this channel, and um, please don't fail to subscribe, like, and uh, share, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified in time we upload any video. Okay, so we just uh, decided to do this um, live feed to, to that live uh, stream to update you on what's going on with the uh, top three uh, stocks with uh, on, on Nasdaq. Thank you again and uh